All right, let's take a look at the JIRA user interface and high-level navigation flow. When you log into JIRA, the first thing you will see is your system dashboard, which is your dashboard of information. These different boxes over here are called gadgets, and you can customize this entire page from top to bottom and add different types of gadgets that display different pieces of information that is relevant to you. For example, this gadget over here is called Assigned to Me, which basically displays the issues that are currently assigned to me, or the user that is currently logged in. Now since we created a project with sample data, there's already a couple of issues here that are assigned to my user account, and hence they show up here. But if you were starting with a completely blank project, then this gadget would probably be empty. Below this, you have an activity stream, which is like a newsfeed for your JIRA site and kind of tells you what has been going on on the site, you know, changes that different users are making, um, you know, if there are any comments that are being made by uh, various users, it's kind of like a newsfeed. So this is the system dashboard, which was created for you by default, but you can also create your own custom dashboards and share them with other team members. And you can see that this dashboard appears in this white space, which is basically your main content area. And on the left here is your navigation bar. This navigation bar determines what gets displayed in your main content area. Now, Jira's previous UI version had this navigation bar at the top. And some of you might have seen that from before. And in 2017, they decided to revamp their interface and converted it into a sidebar navigation format. And you can minimize this sidebar by clicking on this little arrow over here. And basically what that does is it reduces the text into just icons and it maximizes or I guess increases the space in your main content window. And you can again expand that by clicking on the arrow and you can even drag and drop it to a size that you prefer. You can even toggle this sidebar with a shortcut key, uh, which is the open square bracket on your keyboard. So if you just hit the open square bracket, it will toggle that sidebar. Now let's take a closer look at the sidebar. This is the logo for your site. And obviously clicking on this icon will just take you to your home page, just like any other regular website. And after dashboards, which is what we just saw, we have projects and issues, which, as I mentioned before, are basically the two main things that make up Jira. We will take a look at them in more detail in the next couple of videos. And settings over here is basically your Jira administration settings, and this is only visible here because I am logged in as an administrator. If you were logged in as a regular user that does not have administration privileges, then you would not be able to see this option appearing in your sidebar. Now, further on the left side here, we have the search icon, which is basically your main point of navigation from the homepage. This is where you can get quick access to your most recently visited pages, whether it is the most recent issues that you visited, or you can just view all the issues, you can even access your most recently uh, recently viewed boards, as well as your projects and filters, so on and so forth. And of course, you can even do a search by typing out things. If you notice, when I was hovering over the search icon, you can see that little backslash thing in the tooltip, which is basically telling me that backslash is the hotkey to toggle that. So I can hit backslash from anywhere in Jira and it will display this search pane and you can go ahead and you can either access your recent issues or you can search for something within Jira or you can access your boards and projects. And in order to just close that, you can just hit escape. Below the search icon is your create issue icon, which we'll also take a look at in a couple of videos later on. Now, keep in mind that Issues are part of projects, so if you don't have any projects created already, you wouldn't even be able to create issues and this icon would be hidden. And once again, as I hover over it, you can see that the hotkey to create an issue is letter C. At the bottom, we have a hamburger icon, which is basically your app switcher, as well as shortcut to recently viewed projects. 
Uh, right now, I haven't really visited the project, but it would show up here. But basically, the Jira Confluence links are basically links to access the individual apps. Right now, I'm in Jira, and if I had Confluence installed as well, all I would need to do is just go into here, click on Confluence, and it would take me to the Confluence site. And from there, I can even switch back to Jira. So this is where you can kind of switch between the apps that you have installed. You can also go to your site administration, which we'll take a look at in the administration section of the course. And you can also visit your own personal homepage, which we'll take a look at as well. Furthermore, you can edit this whole view. So if you have other links that are relevant to you, you can always edit this and put in those links so that they appear here. And then right below that, we've got our little help icon, which displays a bunch of handy, helpful links, which I definitely recommend checking out, especially Atlassian's documentation page. And lastly, we have the profile. And uh, let's just quickly go in here and see what we can do at a high level So you can update things like your avatar, uh, you can change your password, uh, it tells you the groups that you are currently a part of, and you can also change some preferences such as your time zone. Now I won't go through each and every one of these in detail, but if you do have any questions, definitely feel free to let me know. Below that you can kind of see the open issues that are assigned to you, uh, and up here you have the ability to put a board on your profile. So that's a quick introductory look at the Jira user interface. Now let's take a closer look at project and issue navigation, starting off with projects in the next video.